Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine Rosette and today we're going to be doing a grocery haul. But before we get into the video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any portion of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this video. So before we start the grocery haul, I did buy some flowers. I bought some peony tulips. I know I'm saying it wrong, but that's neither here nor there. But yes, this is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show y'all. Okay, first things first, I got some more spinach so that I could freeze it and have it along with my frozen veg. I got some organic rainbow cauliflower, some broccoli, some Brussels sprouts, and then the usual protein, which is salmon, turkey balls, and turkey burger patties. I also got some yogurt along with some health aid kombucha. I got the pink lady flavor and I also ran out of olive oil, so I needed to pick up that. And then the lemon is for my salmon, because y'all know I like my salmon very lemony. Something that I've been trying out recently has been some like simmer sauces and just sauces in general to kind of help with the flavor of the protein that I'm going for as well as my vegetables. So I started doing this at Whole Foods, um, but then I saw these at Trader Joe's and I was like, this is way more affordable. So I'm gonna try these. And I'm really excited for this garlic achar. I really, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that. I apologize for not saying that correctly, but I'm really excited for this because I love garlic. And then I have my turmeric and ginger shots. I got, you know, two sets and then two sets of my green juice. And I think I mentioned I got two of the kombucha. And then obviously the Magnifi sauce is just always coming in clutch. I have recently been getting like Safe Harvest, the clam chowder and the salmon chowder, but I saw this at Trader Joe's and it's the organic lentil vegetable soup. I like having soup on days when it's really cold. I'll have this with some saltines, you know, those crackers. And so I'm gonna try this. It is, it is vegan, which is why I went for it. So yeah, I got two cans of those, never had them before, but I do love lentils and it has vegetables with it. So it's gonna be great. Um, Trader Joe's finally restocked on the coconut water. I like to have coconut water on the weekends. So I got two of these and then my go-tos, I got the apple carrot fruit crusher and the apple banana fruit crusher. And then lastly, I got some soap. Honestly, this soap is just really great. It lathers really, really well, which is why I love it. And it smells great. So highly, highly recommend. And then, I mean, I'll include a little bit of Target. I got some water as well and some dairy milk chocolate, which I'll show you in a second. I got this chocolate from Trader Joe's. I mean, not Trader Joe's, from Target. This is honestly my favorite by dairy milk. Like, I just love the fruit and nut. It's so good. And lastly, I restocked at Target on the Califia Farms coconut with almond blend milk trader joe's didn't have any coconut milk and i didn't feel like going to sprouts because i was already at target for water so i was like i'll just get this here this was the only coconut milk that they had so it's what i got so that is my grocery haul from trader joe's and a little bit from target that is everything that is going to last me for the next couple weeks Honestly, I had a lot of cookies from Crumble Cookie this past week. So I am kind of just sticking with a chocolate bar as my sweet, along with like my homemade banana ice cream that I have made. I've shown you guys how I make that. I'll link it in the cards above. So you can check that video out on how I make banana ice cream. But yeah, I have just had a lot of like processed sweets. And so I was just like, the only I'm gonna go a little bit smaller this week and I'm just gonna have a chocolate bar to kind of last me these um, next few weeks just because 
I had like three cookies from Crumble. And honestly, I can just feel it in how sluggish I am. It was just so much sugar. I don't want to cut back completely because I like that's just not the point for me. I just know that like I need to be able to have access to like some chocolate or some sort of sweet besides applesauce or whatever. Um, I don't know how close I was. I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, I just need to have some sort of sweet, you know, thing because I do have a sweet tooth, but I don't want to have like a massive portion of it. And those cookies are like the size of my hand. Like they're huge. They're so huge and so decadent and so rich. They're delicious. I love them but i had a lot this past week and so i just want to cut back a little bit on my sugar intake um from like processed foods and so i decided i'm just gonna have like a chocolate bar to kind of last me these next couple weeks instead of buying ice cream like i normally do because y'all know I, I go to whole foods and i get the dairy free um ice cream sandwiches the orchata one is like my favorite it's so delicious but yeah, this is gonna last me the next couple weeks. And so I think that's when I will go back to kind of buying my ice cream sandwiches or whatever sweet. Um, Cause typically I'll have like two ice cream sandwiches um, to kind of last me two weeks. And so I just went really overboard <laughs> with the sweets this past week. And honestly it was because, you know, it was that time of the month. Uh, the red plague is what I call mine. Um, came and visited me and plagued me and so it made sense why I was like craving I was like oh that's the reason why I had all of that but also like my body feels insane right now <laughs> like I can't work out as as great like my workouts were not great this past week anyways that's neither here nor there if you made it to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and yeah, I just really enjoy doing these grocery hauls. I think it's great to kind of give ideas um, to y'all for things that you can try at Trader Joe's or Target or Whole Foods or Sprouts, wherever you're shopping. Um, but also it's like a nice little log to kind of see like how I can kind of push myself to try new things when I do go grocery shopping um, and kind of mix it up. Yes, there's a lot of things that are the same, which is fine i'm fine with but there are some differences and i think in the summer i'm really excited um because it's getting warmer now i know i'm wearing a hoodie but it is actually like 66 degrees but it's actually really windy <laughs> outside today um for the summer i'm definitely going to try on focusing getting more fresh fruit that's typically when i buy a lot more fruit um, because everything is in season and it just tastes a lot better so mango is going to be like heavy on rotation in my diet there's going to be some kiwi not too much um but there will be some kiwi some fresh pineapple that's when i go to h mart the most uh, is in the summer because they just have the best fruit and really good prices and for like the size like the size of a mango that i would get is like the size of my head my head's huge so like it's like a red mango or you know they just have a lot of they have a lot of different varieties of fruit that i really like i think i'm also going to try dragon fruit i've never had that i'm going to try to push myself a little bit but that's typically when i have a lot more fruit but how i get fruit the rest of the year has been through applesauce just because i don't know i said applesauce that way that was like kind of intense on my jaw for a second but i typically get my fruit intake from applesauce because i know i want fruit in there and i'll get it from like some juice and stuff like that that pineapple coconut juice but anyways if you liked any part of this video please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in the next one bye